This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Commander Lassiter read her orders again. There was no margin for error in this sort of operation. Only when she was convinced that those directives offered no leeway in interpretation did she turn to her bridge crew. Lieutenant Edwards? The navigator, sitting at a computer panel to her right, spun in his chair. Ma'am? Program a trajectory for Gung Sheen and give me the ETA, she said. Yes, ma'am. Several seconds passed before Edwards spoke again. The flight path's been set. We'll reach it in nine minutes after we change our current trajectory. Engage the new flight path. Yes, ma'am. Lassiter took a calming breath, then activated all speakers across the battleship. Crew of the UNS Merkel, this is your commander speaking. As of 96 minutes ago, the Martian colony New Fox was bombed without warning by a Chinese destroyer. 6,817 souls were lost. There were no survivors. The United Nations has demanded immediate retaliation. They have chosen as a target the Chinese lunar colony Gongxin, which is China's largest remaining colony in the system. As the only UN battleship in lunar orbit, our orders are clear. Bomb Gongxin until there are no more survivors. She paused. We will reach Gongxin in nine minutes. To your battle stations, arm punch guns one through three. She turned to her first officer, Mac, who watched her intently. Another one, he breathed. Anyone could assume he was referring to New Fox, but she knew him well enough to know that he was talking about Gung Sheen. He felt the same about the orders as she did. She found no joy in these bombings. There was no strategic value in killing colonists. There was only vengeance. Sixteen colonies had been destroyed in the past twelve months alone. At this rate, in less than three years, there wouldn't be any colonies left. Another one, she replied in the same tone. See that the punch gun teams are ready and targeting the colony's nuclear reactors. Of course, ma'am. He stood and exited the bridge. Edwards was right as usual. The UNS Merkel reached Gung Xin exactly nine minutes after they'd changed their trajectory. Gung Xin has issued a warning that we're in their airspace and they're commanding us to leave. They've given us ten seconds to comply, Lieutenant Richardson, the communications specialist, announced. Shields up, she ordered. Shields are up. Stahl, the weapons specialist, replied from her right. Gung Xin noticed. They're powering up their slingshots. Lassiter tapped her intercom. Mac, status. Punch teams have the nuclear reactors targeted and are ready to fire on your command, her first officer replied. Commence firing.